One of those in attendance was Representative Jason Altmaier, member of the Blue Dog Coalition. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Here, thank you. Um, so you, you recently lost uh, in part because you voted against uh, the health care plan. And I, I'm, I'm thinking a lot about this. Uh, one of the things you hear over and over again at the convention is an embrace of Obamacare. You hear it repeatedly throughout the speeches. Is that the right tact, given, given, given your experience and what's happened with you? I think politically, if you're asking that, uh, it is the right tack. The, the Democratic uh, platform is, uh, involves the economic improvement of the country. The health care bill is a part of that. Uh, I did not support it, but look, it passed. It's been enacted. It's law. Supreme Court has ruled. It's two years into enactment, and uh, well, what, what's the choice that the Democrats have? Uh, of course, they're going to support the bill, and of course, they're going to talk about the improvements that the law has made for seniors, for small businesses, for people who have chronic health care conditions. There are a lot of good things in that bill, and I think sounds that like you're now making the case for it. Well, there's a lot of good things in the bill. Uh, there, there's a lot of things at the time that I thought could have been better. I don't want to rehash uh, the vote that occurred two years ago. It's water under the dam. But uh, I do think that the Democrats have a strong case to make that what they did uh, made a difference in people's lives. Um, Representative, I'm also uh, curious, your, your view of this no, question, no. are we better off four years later? Um, how you think the party has responded to that question this week, obviously in the beginning of the week, uh, so some of the representatives of Obama's administration didn't seem to be answering the question so head on. Uh, they seem to have written more throughout the week. The question's difficult because it's mixed. The, the reviews are, are uh, incomplete. We, there are some things that are not where we want them to be. The unemployment rate is higher than it was when President Obama took office. But the GDP rate and the growth rate has improved dramatically. We lost 6.5% GDP in the last quarter of 2008. We lost 2.2% in the first quarter of 2009. You've heard it a million times. We were losing 750,000 jobs a month. Those are real numbers. And we are a lot better off in those categories. But the unemployment rate's not where we want it to be. We haven't fully recovered. So that's why the question is difficult to ask. You don't want to set yourself up politically because there are things you can point to that, you see, that aren't better than they were four years ago. Representative, we have Larry Bossidy on the set this morning. And, and mm -hmm. he and others who've come to this table, CEOs, former CEOs, board members, have said that Obama is bad for business. Make the case, maybe to Larry, uh, about why you disagree. I do disagree. I think that what happened with the auto industry, certainly you'd get a different uh, story. I know you know the facts there. I think if you look at our relationship overseas, uh, the trade agreements that have passed, three of them, I believe two of the, three of them uh, since President Obama has been in office. Uh, if you look at the proposals on the economy, the, the stimulus, I think, helped save what could have been a catastrophic occurrence, uh, downfall of our uh, economic situation in this country. Small businesses, 18 tax cuts since President Obama has been in office. There's a, there's a lot to work with there. Uh, Jason, though, what, why do you think that uh, it's a good idea not to embrace business in terms of a relationship? I mean, they've made every kind of an, uh, an attempt to join the president in some common pursuits and got no place. And uh, basically, he seems to uh, demonize business. And it's great for a country to, uh, another country, to represent business in a way that's helpful all over the world. In fact, he's worked to the disadvantage of business, American business across the world. So it's unclear to me why he's done it, and I wonder what, if he should be reelected, if that will continue in the next term. I hear what you're saying, and I agree uh, that some of the rhetoric has been over the top, but to answer your question of why it happens, we all lived through 2008. We understand the root of the problem was on Wall Street. Uh, the Wall Street reform bill, Dodd-Frank, uh, is not perfect, but I think it was the right uh, step in the right direction. And the reason that you hear so much rhetoric about business and about Wall Street is because, look, that's what happened in 2008. We, Jason, we know, you, you know about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Yeah, there's, there's a housing bubble, a housing bubble that was 20 years in the making. They're, go they're yeah. run by the government the last time I looked, and they had a major role in terms of what this housing market did. So. To think that it was all Wall Street is just miscast.
Well, I'm not saying it was all Wall Street. I just was answering your question of why that rhetoric works. Uh, Wall Street played a role. I'm not going to yeah, let you get away with saying it had nothing to do with it. It was self-defeating to, to bash business, and then when business doesn't cooperate by bringing jobs back to, to, to 5 or 6%, then it's like, oh, it wasn't my fault. I mean, it, it, he had this coming, and, and it was clear that it was happening, and it's, it's really unfortunate that it was in his best interest not to focus on Obamacare for, that, for the first two years, Jason. Should have focused on this, right? I think you're right about that, yes. All okay, right. Representative, we got to leave it there. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning.